struggling with the, yeah, the exhaust in the back. So different. Well, we've had our first oil leak. At least it wasn't um, out the side of the block caused by a Conrod, but it was just out of the O-ring that was on the drag car tower. Uh, VCT block off thing, the O-ring's different to the OEM one, so I just swapped my old one, which was new, put it back on, and it feels a lot nicer fit, so maybe just check that if you ever put one of these in. The next piece of the puzzle we've got to put in is a converter pressure regulator, which is adjustable. There's a thing inside here, I think it comes preset at 100. These guys here were the only ones I could find. I couldn't really find anyone in Australia that did them. These are uh, from the States. Um, on the last run out at Jamboree, we noticed that converter pressure was getting well over 150. It was flying off what my sensor could read um, all the way through first gear. And then in second gear, we come back to about 80 or 90, which is normal. So I'm just hoping to try and tame it down in first gear a little bit. So all it does, it picks up the feed from the cooler line out so from the transmission out to the cooler which is also you convert a feed inside the power glide from what i understand and then then that bleeds it back off into the pan so hopefully that will remain a constant pressure there thank you very much to the guys at burson's they um, supplied me with the oil and filter and the paint for painting the exhaust yesterday thank you very much it all helps got our valve in we got fucking connectors off, connectors off, joiners. I'll make a little bracket just to support that for any vibration. Oh, I gotta love this part. Oh, this is sort of exciting. Got a fair bit to do um, in the next few weeks. <sighs> Why do we do this? Get the stereo sorted for drag challenge. First thing you gotta do. Oh, which one do we want to take to Melbourne with us? The big one or the little one? Oh, we could have avoided um, disaster number one already before you even leave the building. Um, the only thing holding that oil drain you can see is that sort of just a one mil lip around the whole thing because it's just a CNC piece. <laughs> So that was obviously just sitting there. I noticed a little bit of an oil leak and then I've grabbed it and it's just snapped off. And it's probably happened when I've tightened up that. It's a big dash 12 thing. So just the twisting force on that's probably just cracked that. So we'll sleeve it all the way through and do a, um, a nice big weld. So lucky. Hopefully there's nothing else like that. See how you're doing, mate? No idea. What are you making bags? A spew tank for the boot. It's not an ideal way to make it. We don't claim to be um, sheet metal workers. Up we go. The hammer and beat there. Oi, top level fabrication. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever welded, mate, so don't. They should do that. Mate, you did good. That's nice. Nice and shiny. Look at that. Well, we got it all in. Should do the job. We've got our radiator overflow. We have our transmission and we'll have our diff when we sort them two out. We've got a drain here that we can just empty it obviously after each pass. Um, this will get the engine breather put into it, and this one here will go up and off into the filter for the actual breather for this tank. Happy Boxing Day. We're um, in the shop, it's only about 7.30 I think. We finally popped this bumper out of the mold we started making last week. A bit of time on the product, which is this piece, rather than the plug in the mold, because we're only doing a one piece. Um, we're only ever gonna probably make one item, hopefully, unless we bin it into a wall. 
So we'll give that a bit of a sand up and then we'll start fitting it up. But at least it's going to be one piece now. The old one was just a Corolla bumper. We had a joining strip through the middle, so we'll tidy it up. Man, we had a massive week last week trying to get everything done. You've probably seen the list that I had up on the windscreen. And we got through all of that, which is um, it's a good, good bit of a relief anyway. Um, tow truck's on its way. It's the 27th of December and we're taking it up to the diner hopefully today run it in and um, give it a few power runs and just make sure everything's happy we've got a test in tune we've got to get to on the 14th of January so that's going to be our only test day before going down to drag week so we really want to sort make sure everything's sorted by then uh, a few things we've got to check today converter pressure now that we've put the regulator in the transmission for that um, what other bits and pieces? Quite a few different things. We've just got to keep an eye on the EGTs now. They're all in, they're all configured. They seem to be reading correctly. All strapped up on the hub dam, what do you reckon? Hopefully some good power. Hopefully it all just plays the game, that's the important part. Oh mate, that's better. We got the team here, we've done the base block. The tuna is in the building. Are you meant to be tuning, not drinking? Drink too, Cameron, what a boss. <laughs> Fucking Australian. <laughs> Get an e-gate, they said. They're reliable, as they said. Always drain your oil. How's your oil filter looking on uh, Duke 3? Uh, looks pretty good to me. Nothing in there. Cut it good. open anyway, but... That's good. What are you welding, Dan? Uh, 